Shalom. All praises go to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah. Double honor, son to the elder apostles, a great millstone for the teachings of the scriptures, among other things. Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. Doing this work in sincere and in the truth. Now, this is Exodus chapter 6, verse 1, which further subtitles on um, Yahweh's promise of deliverance. Yeah, it's like I had to yawn. Yeah, going on. Now it says, Then Yahweh said unto Moses, Now shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh, for with a strong hand shall he let them go, and with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. And Yahweh spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am your and the, the power spake unto Moses and said, I am Yahweh. Basically, I am he who is to be. He who is the existing one. The one that is, you know. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob. So, Yahweh did that. By the name of power of the power almighty. Now, going to Exodus chapter 6, right? The power almighty. It says God almighty. Right? It says God Almighty, right? So we go to the word 4, 410, which is here. No, 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 it's here. Okay, then it's here. 410, which says Allah, which means God. You know, Allah. That's what it says. In the English, they say El, but in the Hebrew, it's Allah, which means strength or power. You know, mighty things. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay? God, God like one, mighty one, mighty men. Um, we are, because the slave descendants are God, and that includes the so, the Negroes, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Indianos. Okay, we are Allah. That's why it says in the book of Psalms, chapter 82. Oh, well, let me let me get it here then, actually. Psalms 82. Now it says. Um, 82 and 6 I have said ye are gods and all of you are the children of the most high but ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes we actually fell we fell from our grace because we was basically gods man we still are but we're in a lesser weaker form right now because when we was in the time of King David, we was really strong in our full strength, you know, in the time of Joshua and Moses and stuff. But now, even in our lower state. So like I had to yawn again. Look, for example, look at Michael Tyson, Michael Jordan. Um, look at Tupac, you know. All these, all these, uh, these men are actually, basically, we excel in, every, in, uh, in, in the things that we do excel above the other nations but we're still slave descendants you see what i'm getting at and you can only imagine what will happen once we once the most high put us in his in our full strength yo man we're gonna be slaughtering people which is how it's supposed to be so going back to over here now it says by the name of god almighty right so the word god right is allah which means power, strength, power, God. God means power, and and thus power. You can equate it with, with the um, God, right? Okay, going on. Now uh, it says um H seven seven zero six. I don't know why I keep yawning so much. What the hell? I wasn't yawning a couple of seconds ago before I started this video. <laughs> it's so lucky about that. But yeah. Now it said Shadja, right? Uh, I have it here. As you can see, you have the so-called W looking one. And that's um, here. Sha. And you have the, you know, the seven looking one. Looking like the seven, which is here, Da. And then you have the little one, which is Yah. So it says, um, um, Shadya, Shadya, 
right? Shadja. Shadja, right? Now it says Almighty, Most Powerful, Shadja. Shaddai, the Almighty. And I saw this, I saw this, uh, I never, I never played this, by the way, but I saw this. I'm not kidding you. I saw this in the game. I saw this game. And this is the game. Now you have this cracker. And his name is Enoch. So I was thinking like, and here, here you have the name again, the title of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah. It's his title, Allah Sajjah, right? And this motherfucker, this devil that made this game, he actually calls him Allah Saja, El Saja, Al Saja, which translates in the Hebrew to Allah Saja. And then you have this uh, faggot, this Edomite, you know, this blue eyed, uh, yellow haired bastard, portraying to be basically the terrible one, uh, basically portraying to be the Most High. This devil, this is some funny shit, man. I'm telling you, as you can see. But in the game, he's actually a uh, so called tanned. He's so called uh, tanned uh, cave monkey. You know, he's a tanned Edomite. You know, in the game, of course, you know. He's kind of tanned up. As you can see yourself, this is the actual game footage. You know? I never played this game, by the way. I just saw it, and I was like, huh? That, that, that looks like the Heavenly Father, his title. As you can see, this name, El Shadja, of Shad, uh, Shaddai, El Shaddai. And here you have it again, Shaddai, but with a, with a Y. And here is, well, you can see the name here, Dai. You know, A-I. And here you have A, a, a Greek uh, Y. You have the Y. So, yeah, so I found that disrespectful but the word uh, shadja as you can see here sadai shadja it's like it in the blue letter i mean the ben yahudi english hebrew hebrew english dictionary when you go on page 82 as you can see here as you can see here right and you go to the word shadja which is the the w the little seven looking thing and then the the comma looking one right and then you go back to over here and you grab this right me i grabbed it i mean and then i go back over there so i just did that and uh, okay so it says the first one is sha the second is da the third one is ya right shadja so it says demonic demonical now this word is a uh, maza or Mawa Yak Mawa Yak Maza Yak um, I think this is a uh, wait let me look good yeah Maza Yak Maza Yak Mashai Mashayak Mashayak okay going on mm. So it says actually when they call them uh, God Almighty, they actually call them the terrible demon-like one, because our heavenly Father Yahweh was so scary unto these people that they literally called him a demon. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because he was killing people. The heavenly Father will put your ass to death, man. <laughs> what he did. You know what he did in the book of Genesis and stuff like that. You know, um, yeah, they called him a demon. Because they was like, yo, this is the most terrible God I've ever seen in my life. You know? So they basically called him terrible demon-like power, demonical-like power. Al-Asaja. Al Al-Asaja. That's, that's, the, that's the title. And so I told you. And in the game, you also have a guy named Lucifer. Basically, no, Lucif Lucifer, which is Lucifer. And then he's Enoch. But the game name is Al-Asaja. You know this is all based on the Bible. You know, you know. I think there wasn't. This was in PlayStation Two era, or maybe PlayStation Three. I don't know. Kind of forgot. 
I don't know. Maybe PlayStation 3. I don't know. I think so. So, I'm going to read it again. Exodus 6 and 3. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of uh, uh, Al-Asajah, which means terrible demon-like power. But by, the, but by my name, Yahweh, was I not known to them. And then I'm going to go over here. Jehovah. 30 and... 6 8 30 and 6 8 it says Yahweh the little one is Yah then the this one is uh, Ha then the longer one is Wah and then the the said the one that the, this one again is Ha so it says Yahweh so I'm gonna read it again and I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of Alashadja, which translates the terrible demon-like power. Basically, um, demon-like power, yeah. But by my name, Yahweh, was I not known to them. And I have also established my covenant with them, to give them the land of Canaan. And this is the land of Canaan. Land of Canaan. Which is Israel. This land. This is the land of Canaan. Okay. Because the Canaanites used to be here. The Hittites, the Jebusites, the Parasites, um, and so on. Um, how you call that? Um, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 1 actually calls all the names that were that were in this land before. He had also the Ammonites, the Moab, the Ammonites are the Japanese, the Moabites are the Chinese. Edomites are these cave people, these Edomites, these uh, these so-called Caucasian people. The Philistines are the Africans, the real Africans. The Hittites are the real Africans too. So t t Tyre and Zidon were the so-called Africans also. Gaza, Ashkelon, Ashdod. Every, it was just the land of Canaan here, man. Just Africans over here. The real Africans, right? Yeah, and I gifted, uh, give them the land of Canaan, the land of their pilgrimage, where we dwell at. Well, let me get the word pilgrimage. <coughs> pilgrimage, right? Here, here, here. Pilgrimage. A journey to a sacred place or shrine. A long journey or search. Especially one of exalted purpose or moral significance to go on a pilgrimage a journey to a shrine or other sacred place a journey or long search made for exalted or sentimental reasons right so going on now it says <coughs> verse 5 <coughs> we're in we're in they were strangers verse 5 and I have also heard the groaning of the children of Israel whom the Egyptian keep in bondage, slavery. And I have remembered my covenant with who? With Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And no other race can actually be an Israelite or um, subscribe itself to the Bible as belonging to the chosen people of the Most High Yahweh. It's not possible. You need to... Okay, okay it's, go, it's going to explain later on. Going on. Wherefore say unto the children of Israel, I am Yahweh. And I will bring you from under the burdens, which is slavery, of the Egyptians. Forced labor is it actually the word burdens, in, if you check it out in the Hebrew. And I will rid you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm and, a, uh, and with great judgment. Yeah, the death of the Egyptians and the destructions thereof. And I will take you to me. For a people, and I will take you to me for a people, and I will be your uh, to you a power, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh your power, which bringeth you out from under the burdens, forced labor, forced labor of the Egyptians, and I will bring you into the land concerning the which I did swear to give it to uh, Abraham. To Isaac and to Jacob. So only to these three was it sworn. Okay. So no one is actually they have no they have no business going into this land. The Arabs are over there 
and uh, and uh, the, the 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 cave people, the Edomites are over there here in this land. You know, they have they don't have the right to be there because it would it was given only unto the children of um, Abraham, which uh, which are Isaac and Jacob. Right, going on. And Moses spake so unto the children of Israel, but they hearkened not unto me, unto Moses for anguish of spirit and for cruel bondage. Yeah, because they was like, yo, man, since you came, the Pharaoh straight went even harder on us now, you know? So they was angry. And Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Go in, speak unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, that he let the children of Israel go out of his hand. And Moses spake before Yahweh, saying, Behold, the children of Israel have not hearkened unto me. How then shall Pharaoh or Hemri, who am of an on who am of uncircumcised lips? Yeah, because he didn't know how to speak fancy fancy, you know. And Yahweh spake unto Moses and Aaron, and unto Aaron, and gave them a charge unto the children of Israel, and unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Right? So, verse 14, now we have a subtitle just coming in, and the subtitle is, The Descendants of Israel, right? These are the heads of the father's houses, right? Because, contrary to popular belief, in the, in, in, in the Israeli country right now, where these devils are, right? These people that call themselves Jews, even though they're straw tribes. They just want to be Jews, only Jews. What the fuck? Because they know the, the 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 head tribe are the Judites, right? This is fake. This is fake. It's a hoax. <laughs> okay, this is real. <laughs> they are they are Josses. Joss. I mean, they're these fucking monsters. Yeah, but anyway, going on. These are these are devils. These are not the real Jews. These are not the Jews of the Bible. They're the devil. They're Edomites, actually. Look how red their faces is. You know? But uh, going on. Yeah. Uh, uh, contrary to popular belief, you are what your father is. Because in these devils, their little fucked up mind, they switch everything upside down. So, to them, your mother needs to be a, fa a Jew, and then uh, you're a Jew. But that's not true. You are what your father is. This is actually the woman worship. Because if you give a female some sort of authority or or an, um, reference, the bitch is going to get proud. That's why you have these whores on the planet Earth, all of them, right? You have them saying, yeah, you come out of me. I birthed you. you know, I had you in my belly for nine months. <laughs> but uh, she's supposed to be put to death on spot for that shit. And they will, believe me. A lot of them will, at least. Now, these be the heads of the fathers. Uh, these be the heads of their fathers' houses. The son of Reub, uh, the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Hanak and Pola, Hazron and Carmi. These be the families of Reuben. Yeah, the families are only mentioned by the men. <coughs> yes, of course, the woman. <laughs> <coughs> Drink a bit of water, man. Uh, so lucky about that. Pardon. Yeah, right. Now, it says that the men make up the family because the men have the seed. He has the sperm and he has girls and he has boys in his, in his sperm. A female has nothing. She receives seed. Thus meaning... You are what your father is, and not what your mother is. So if your father is a so-called dark-skinned man, so-called black man, and your mother is, uh, what, an Arab female, it doesn't matter. The child is an Israelite. The child is a so-called black black child, you know? Might look like the, the Arab mother, you know, have the curly hair type thing, but it still is the seed of the father and, and thus making it of the bloodline and of the race of the father it's going to show you right here and the sons of Simeon 
Jemuel and Jamin, and Ohad, and Jachin, and Zohar, and Shaul, the son of a Canaanitish woman. Yeah, but he still counts for Simeon, right? It doesn't matter if his mother is a Canaanite. Because you got to remember, check this out. Um, all the 12 tribes, they did not have Israelite women to have sex with and make babies. They actually had to go out and take the other nations, their women, and then make the tribes, make the children of the tribes. So, and then after that, they started to only, you know, make children with each other's. Uh, you know, and, um, how you call that thing, with each other's family, you know. For example, Reuben would have, uh, let me just use Simeon. Simeon would have uh, children with, let me just use, use Reuben, man. Reuben would, like Reuben himself, like one of the twelve, right? Reuben would take a, a Hamite woman or whatever, or Ishmaelite woman, and then after a few generations, you know, and then, uh, Judah would do the same because Judah actually did have a Canaanite wife. And then they, they would do the same. Judah would do the same. Reuben would do the same. And eventually, there were a lot of descendants of Reuben and a lot of descendants of Judah. And then Reuben would take Judah's daughters and Judah would take an, um, Reuben's daughters. And then we would be in one... Uh, family with the same with this we just take family of ourselves that's why the scripture says you shouldn't be now especially you shouldn't be inter in making interracial babies but if you did and you didn't know okay cool but now you know and not to do it now does that mean you cannot have sex with these other females i, I would fuck the shit out of them if they allow if they let me i don't give a shit i just have sex with them if they want to if they let me you know if not, if now, for, for example, a Moabite or eat, I really didn't like Moabites like, uh, like in, even in the beginning of this year. But now, I don't know, man. This is my spirits. So, like I said, if a Moabite or Ammonite, whatever, uh, Edomite female came up to me and said, yo, I, I want to be your wife. I'd be like, okay. <laughs> and I'm done. <laughs> That's it. This is a simple question. You want to have sex, I'll uh, pop you. But I'm not trying to marry her, like, as in, you know, make her my main bitch or whatever. Or or trying to have babies with them and stuff like that. That's not what I'm trying to do. But I will get my rocks off, though, because then I have something to do. <laughs> A bit going on. <laughs> Verse 16. And these are the names of the sons of Levi according to their generations, Gershom and Kohath and Mary. Uh, Merari. And the years of the life of Levi were 130 and 7 years. The sons of Gershom, Gershon, Libni, and Shemai, according to their families. The sons of Koath, Amram, and Ishhar, and Hebron, and Uzil. And the years of the life of Koath were 130 and 3 years. And the sons of Merari, Mahali, and Musha, these are the families of Levi according to their generations. And Amram took him Jehoban, right? Jeho uh, uh, Joch Jok Hebe, Jochebeth, his father's sister to wife. So Amram actually took his auntie. But later on in the book of Deuteronomy, it will explain that you cannot do that no more. Because we're, we're further down the generations, you can't do that no more. But here in the beginning, that law was basically overlooked or not established officially on paper yet. Uh, because they knew the, the laws are moral. Oral, I mean. Which, yeah, like I said, in the book of Deuteronomy, it is forbidden to have sex with your auntie. But you can take your cousin, actually. It does, it does not say nothing about that. But that's another story. Let's go on. And she bare him Aaron and Moses and also Miriam which is the sister of uh, Aaron and Moses or is the younger sister and the years of the life of Amram were 130 
and seven years. The son and the sons of Ishar, Korah, and Nephag, and Shikri, and the sons of Uziel, Mishael, and Ela uh, Elzavan, and Zidri. And Aaron took him Elishaba, daughter of Aminabad, sister of Naashan, Naashan, to wife, and she bare him Nabad, and Abihu, and Eliezer, I mean Eliezer, and Ith, Ithamar, and the sons of Korah, Ishir, and Elkanah, and Abiashab. These are the families of the Korites. And Eliezer, Aaron's son, took him one of the daughters of Pethuel to wife. And she bare him um, Pinas, has. These are the heads of the fathers of the Levites according to their family. See, it doesn't speak anything about the mothers. Because you are what your father is. The father is the one that makes the household, okay? These are that Aaron and Moses. These are that Aaron and Moses. To whom Yahweh said, the Most High Yahweh, Bring out the children of Israel from the land of Egypt according to their armies. These are they which spake to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to bring out the children of Israel from Egypt. These are that Moses and Aaron. Now comes another subtitle which says, Aaron to speak for Moses. And it came to pass on the day when Yahweh spake unto Moses in the land of Egypt, that Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, I am Yahweh. Speak thou unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, all that I say, say, all that I say unto thee. And Moses says before Yahweh, Behold, I am of uncircumcised lips. And how shall Pharaoh hearken unto me? Yep, so with that, I'm going to say Shalom.